Welcome once again to our video series covering Softile Contact Center from Cytel. In this video we'll give you a brief introduction to Agent Desktop. We'll show you how chat and voice sessions are displayed in Agent Desktop, the range of session controls that are available to the agent, and give an overview of the WebRTC software feature that is also available within Agent Desktop. Let's start by looking at how chat and voice sessions are displayed in Agent Desktop. When the agent logs into Agent Desktop, he will be presented with a screen that looks like this. The session navigation panel is on the left of the window. The session control panel is at the top. The remaining area of the window contains the scripter panel. The session navigation bar contains placeholders for any campaigns the agent is configured to support. Here we can see that the agent is configured to handle three sessions. One on the mobiles campaign, which is a voice campaign, and two sessions on the chat campaign. The session placeholders show session status and agent status. Since there are no sessions actually connected, the agent is in a waiting state on all sessions. Now we can see that a session from the mobiles campaign has connected. The handset icon indicates that this is a voice session and the contact telephone number is displayed. The agent status has now changed to talking and the time that the session has been active is displayed. The left arrow in the front of the agent status indicates that this is an outbound campaign. The session control bar at the top of the window shows the various controls available to the agent for this session. We'll describe these controls later in the video. We can now see the scripter panel which displays the script configured for this campaign. The campaign script is popped in this panel when the agent selects a connected session. A new chat session has connected from John. Since the agent is still working on the voice session, the timestamp for this chat session is shown in red. The number shown in the red circle indicates how many messages have been received since the agent last viewed this session. The agent status is shown as talking, even though he is not yet active in the session and the right arrow indicates that this is an inbound campaign. When the agent selects the chat session, the chat session panel is displayed and he can now respond to the incoming message. Note that the timestamp color is reset to white. The agent can select the chat session and respond to it while he is still talking on the voice session. The agent has switched back to the mobile session and a second chat session from Mark has connected. The agent can easily see from the outstanding message indicator and the timestamp colour which sessions are awaiting a response. Now let's look at the session controls that are available to the agent. With the voice session selected we can see the range of controls available in the session control bar. The Start Wrap button ends the selected session, in this case it hangs up the call and puts the agent into the wrap state. We won't be clicking any of these controls for now because we want to keep the sessions open. The Hold button is a voice only control which temporarily disconnects the session from the agent whilst keeping the session active. The Record button is a voice only control that toggles audio and screen recording for the session. The mute button is also a voice only control which mutes the agent audio allowing the agent to consult with a supervisor or colleague. The transfer button allows the agent to transfer a voice or other media session to a colleague, a supervisor or any external party. The answer machine button is a voice only control that provides a fast means of dispositioning these common answer machine call outcomes. The select outcome list can be configured with predefined session outcomes to provide a quick and consistent outcome selection. The complete button is used to end the agent session. If no outcome is selected, a pre-configured default outcome is applied. 
Here the agent has completed the session with a commitment outcome. The session can also be completed by the agent without first going into wrap. The agent status control is found at the top right of the agent desktop window. Here the agent can select to go available, request a break or exit from agent desktop. Selecting request a break reveals a pre-configured list of break reasons which provides a consistent way of reporting agent break activity. We now have a quick look at the WebRTC software interface. The WebRTC phone is a browser embedded software integrated within Agent Desktop. It enables secure voice calls to be conducted over the internet. When WebRTC is available, the agent will see an additional control called Phone in the top right of the Agent Desktop window. Clicking on this phone control reveals a dial pad that can be used to send DTMF data which may be required for some outbound calls, for example to route the call to the required extension. That concludes our overview of Agent Desktop. For more information on this product or any other Softal Contact Center product, please see the other videos in this series or visit Cytel.com. Thank you for watching.